Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Crafty Beer Reviews. Today I have a very special beer review for you guys. This right here is Flying Dog Barrel Aged Gonzo Imperial Porter. Now as you guys are probably familiar, this is their regular Gonzo Imperial Porter but then they aged it in whiskey barrels for three months. Now not only that, what really makes this beer special is this is a 2011 vintage. The 2014 vintage is just about to come out in a few days, so this is literally three years old at this point. And I have to give a gigantic shout out to my good buddy DJ over at DJ's Brewtube because without him, I never would be able to sit here and enjoy this beer, so that is awesome. DJ, thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate that. Guys, if you are not already a subscriber to his channel, go check him out. You will not be disappointed. Now, it is freezing here in Ohio, and we have like over a foot of snow right now, so I figured, you know what? A nice barrel-aged beer would be awesome for this snowy night, so without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Oh, wow, this smells really good. Oh, my God. So you actually get a nice whiskey smell, but it's not boozy. It's not alcoholic. You can smell the whiskey, but it's not, like, burning your nose. There's a lot of vanilla in here as well. I'm getting a little bit of oak. Not too much, though. Definitely some dark chocolate, some milk chocolate in there. Kind of nice roasty malt notes. A little bit of caramel and toffee, not too much, but yeah, the whiskey, the chocolate, and the vanilla are really, really big in this. It smells so good, though. I've had it fresh, kind of boozy. This doesn't smell like boozy at all, so let's go ahead and take our first sip. Wow. Wow, that is really, really good. So the first thing I get is a really nice dark chocolate. There's some milk chocolate sweetness in there as well. A decent amount of vanilla in here as well, which is really, really nice. I'm definitely getting a nice roasty malt. You definitely can taste the whiskey, although it's not at the forefront as much as it is in the aroma. There's definitely some toffee and caramel sweetness on the back end as well. And then it actually dries out quite nicely so that you're ready to take another sip. But wow, this is so good. Like I said, I've had this previously fresh and it's not a bad beer fresh, but it is kind of boozy. And without alcohol dying down, it just really lets this beer shine through. got a medium to full body it's not quite full but it's leaning towards that area and then it has a very creamy rich mouthfeel much better than a lot of imperial porters and for that matter a lot better than a lot of barrel aged imperial porters even some barrel aged imperial stouts but this is so so tasty you can't smell the alcohol you can't taste the alcohol you do get a little bit of warmth as it goes down but not bad at all for almost 10%. Yeah, this is really, really good because you get the vanilla, you get the dark chocolate, you get that milk chocolate, the toffee, the caramel, the oak, the vanilla. It's just all really, really good. And it's balanced too because you do have those sweeter notes, but you also have the nice bitterness that kind of rounds it out. There's almost a little, it almost is like a, a coffee bitterness on the back end, which is really, really nice. But this is great stuff. If you guys can get this beer, I would say definitely lay it down for a while because this beer is drinking phenomenally right now. As far as the rating goes, guys, I'm going with a 9.4 out of 10. This is just so easy to drink. And it has so many great flavors too. And the barrel character is just really well integrated. And now that the booze has died down, even better. All right, so for my musical recommendation, since this beer is in fact a tribute to the one and only Hunter S. Thompson, I thought it would be appropriate to also have my musical recommendation go along with that. So I want you guys to check out The Grateful Dead and their 1970 record, 
Working Man's Dead. Now, apart from it being a classic Grateful Dead album and one of my favorites, this is also an album that Hunter S. Thompson specifically references in some of his writing. So he was a big Deadhead fan too, and this is one of his favorite records. So if you guys have not listened to this in particular, I highly recommend it. Alright guys, that does it for this beer review, and remember, I hope whatever you're doing involves good craft beer. See ya.